Hey everybody, Sexy Matt the Pharaoh Wizard here. So I wanted to try something a little different, uh, and I just wanted to talk a little bit off the cuff, unscripted, just talk about the new Wonder Woman trailer that came out, as well as uh, woman-led superhero movies in general, and uh, just different thoughts and feelings I had. No, this isn't a reaction video, it's just uh, feelings I had uh, that kind of I thought about when the uh, I was watching the new trailer. <laughs> So uh, I'm not going to go over what I thought the plot of Wonder Woman is going to be because I kind of did that in my Future of DC uh, video. So if you want to you know, see that, check out that video, of course, because it is awesome. Uh, but I just want to talk about uh, what I noticed in the trailer and hopes and things like that. Uh, so let's just get into it. So the first thing I definitely noticed is her speech at the beginning talking a lot about hope. Now the characterization of Wonder Woman has widely differed depending on who's writing her and what the story calls for. Um, at one end of the spectrum, she's totally disillusioned with humanity, uh, more of just a straight soldier, uh, just doesn't have a lot of emotion or feeling, she's just totally, you know, disillusioned, basically. And the full opposite end of that, Wonder Woman is a, you know, symbol of hope, and bright light and basically the mother of humanity so I'm hoping they go with the hope side uh, she does talk in her speech about as you get th closer to things uh, you can see the darkness and hopefully that's a bit of a longer speech where she says she can't give up hope and she's got to keep the hope alive because that is exactly what the DCEU needs is hope you know Superman's dower Batman's dower she needs to be this bright symbol of hope and optimism and uh, if they can do that I think that would be just an amazing step in the right direction so knock on wood that's what the direction they're gonna go with the other really cool thing I noticed which I want to talk about is she's definitely blocking bullets with her bracelets and that is awesome again that's something that's widely differed depending on uh, which story you're reading some say she's just full-on bulletproof some say it's just the bracelets I prefer the bracelets because uh, it's more um, that she's just so fast she can block any bullet with them. As well as it gives her a little bit more vulnerability so she's not just this hulking beast that no one can take down. It, she is vulnerable, um, she's just very skilled so it's hard to get her vulnerable kind of thing. So again, that that is definitely in there so hopefully they stick with that. Um, no word on flight. They didn't really show much. Again, that's something she either has an invisible jet, or she can fly herself, or she doesn't fly. Uh, we'll see what they go with. Um, they hinted, you know, kind of showed Batman v Superman. She can jump really far, so uh, I don't know. Hopefully they expand on that. Uh, we didn't get a lot of hints of her power, you know, levels and what she can do in Batman v Superman, which is fine. She, that really was... Uh, just kind of more of a cameo rather than you know introducing the character so uh, again this is her whole movie and we'll see where she comes with that um, a couple things that uh, annoyed me um, I, I don't know the actress's name but uh, Steve Trevor's uh, secretary both at the end of the last trailer we got and this one she has a funny line and I just hope she's not the comic relief uh, your movie does need to have levity in it, and that's one criticism DC has gotten a lot from pretty much everybody, is you gotta, you know, throw in some jokes, lighten this mood. But if it's just coming from one person, it's gonna feel really forced. I mean, even, you know, Steve Rogers, Captain America, had some funny things that he did. You gotta break that up, you gotta let other people do some funny lines and things. So hopefully Chris Pine gets some funny lines in there, and hopefully Wonder Woman does. Uh, just to break it up, I just hope it's not all pushed onto one character as the quote comic relief. Because that would be lame. Um, but everything else looks pretty awesome for this, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, I, I'm taking it all with a grain of salt because the first Batman v Superman trailer was amazing. Uh, all, at least all three, I think it was, at least the first two Suicide Squad trailers were fantastic. Um, so, I don't know, maybe it, it still could end up bad, it could not. 
Um, so ugh, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. But this movie is incredibly important to the DC Extended Universe in many ways. Just, uh, it could make or break the DCEU. Um, just as a movie in general, if it's bad, uh, for a lot of people, that would be four DC movies that are terrible right in a row. Some people, it's three. You know, it depends on who you talk to. Uh, for me, I think they've been on a, you know, kind of an upswing after Suicide Squad. It wasn't the best movie, but I kind of enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, if that one... But if it tanks, it's going to just pretty much destroy this universe in a lot of ways. Um... You know, a lot of people kind of remember that uh, Iron Man 2, Thor, and Captain America, the first American, was, they were not like huge hits. They were pretty good, and most people remember them pretty well, and they were kind, they were kind of mid-range critically received, but uh, they were built on the back of the awesomeness of Iron Man, so they could slip a little and still know that we're building up to Avengers. And also, Avengers was this great payoff. But just having, you know, like that backing of Iron Man there really helped these movies to kind of do their own thing and maybe experiment a little. DC hasn't had their big breakout hit in this universe yet. Um, so it's hard. To, so if this slips, there's nothing to fall back on. It's just going to crash. And uh, following this, of course, is going to be Justice League, which you could say is going to be a big thing, but one thing Marvel learned uh, about these team-up movies in Age of Ultron is the spectacle of them all coming together for the first time only works once. There has to be something more to it than just we're all teaming up again, and unfortunately DC already played that card with Batman v Superman. Because we saw, you know, at least three, the uh, Trinity team up. So, you know, it's not going to be as much of a spectacle of all these heroes in the same movie again. Because we've already had that. So, it, it's, if this, cra if Wonder Woman craters and is just a terrible movie, it's going to hurt Justice League. And then that's going to basically just be, you know, a, sl a slippery slope to this universe just pretty much dissolving in my opinion uh, I mean they might keep trying to shell it out but a lot hinges on Wonder Woman being good the other thing that's at at risk uh, for this movie if it's bad is female led superhero movies we've only had a mere handful of them you know you got your tank girl your super girl uh, your barbed wire and technically Catwoman, but I don't count Catwoman as a superhero movie because Selena Kyle is Catwoman, and Halle Berry's character in that movie was, uh, was it Constance Page or something stupid? It wasn't Selena Kyle. So I just think it's a completely different story that just happens to be Catwoman. I don't think it's Catwoman. That's my personal opinion, but yeah, I don't count it as a superhero, or as a comic book movie. It's just... A superhero movie that someone threw a no name at. So there you go. Anyway, so, you know, and all those are not really well received. I like Tank Girl a lot, um, but it's a lot of people don't. And, you know, the original Supergirl movie was awful. Uh, Barbed Wire is really bad. So, there's not a lot of grounding for, you know, female superhero movies at the moment um, and so if this one's bad it's just gonna continue that idea that female led superhero movies are not good and no one wants to see them um, you can kind of relate it to the R-rated comic book movie whereas it was kind of seen as not something you do because all the ones that tried it really weren't commercial successes they kind of peed up, you know, kind of appeared and disappeared. Uh, I think like Kick-Ass was the biggest one at some point. Actually, sorry, Watchmen was the uh, highest grossing rated R comic movie. Um, Kick-Ass, I guess, came close. 
Anyways, uh, I don't want to check the numbers. But anyways, so a lot of people, you know, were worried if Deadpool wasn't good, it was just going to continue this idea that those aren't good ideas to have rated on a comic movie. And of course, it did the opposite. It did fantastic. So now everyone wants to do a rated R comic movie, which probably maybe not the best lesson to learn, but I think this could have Wonder Woman could have the same effect on female-led superhero movies. Whereas if this one is good, that's gonna be your door for your Red Sonya, for you know maybe a Hawk Girl. I don't know. A lot of superhero, a female superhero movies can come out of this. So hopefully that becomes a thing. Um, because I think it's it's something that's really needed. Um, and that's kind of a weird thing that I, I thought about recently, too, is... Uh, DC could have cornered the market on female superhero movies. Because Marvel, outside of the X-Men, don't have many powered female characters. Um, you know, you got your uh, Captain Marvel, uh, Dagger... Uh, She-Hulk, uh, I guess the Invisible Woman, but that's not owned by Marvel at the moment. Um, I mean, there's uh, Spider Girl or Spider Woman. Um, there might be a couple more, but it's pretty rare and far between for Marvel to have a powered superhero woman that's not a mutant and right now they don't Marvel Studios doesn't own mutants so they're kind of limited on that where DC on the other hand has just a huge gallery of female superheroes um, of course you got your Wonder Woman you got Hawk Girl, Star Girl, Bat Girl, Bat Woman, uh, Huntress, Black Canary, uh, Jesse Quick uh, there's probably more. Hold on, hold on. I can get a few more. Um, uh, uh, now I'm blanking. Uh, I lost it. There's a bunch more. <laughs> I guarantee it. Um, uh, so yeah, they could have been releasing, uh, you know, all these, uh, spoiler. There's another one. Spoiler. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Told you I'm going off the cuff on this one. Anyways, uh, so DC could have been pumping out this and cornered the market of female super superhero movies, but they, of course they got stuck in the rut of Batman, Superman, Batman, Superman. That's all they want to do. Um, and that's, again, to their detriment, that the fact it's taken this long to get a Wonder Woman movie. Because the Wonder Woman TV show in the 70s with Linda Carter was very popular. Um, both my parents remember it, and they talk about it, and she is the most recognizable female superhero of all time. You have that just sitting there, and you're doing nothing with her. Why did it take so long to get a Wonder Woman movie? Oh, they, they should have been doing this already. There should have already been multiple Wonder Woman movies, or at least reboots. As many as Batman and Superman. Why the hell didn't it, why did it take this long again? I don't know. Uh, anyways. So yeah, uh, I want to see more female-led superhero movies. There are a lot of interesting ones. I don't know why Marvel hasn't done She-Hulk yet. That's just right there waiting for you. You know, everyone loves the Hulk now. She-Hulk! What are you waiting for, Marvel? I mean, of course we're getting Captain Marvel soon. And, you know, they've introduced Scarlet Witch. And, you know, Jessica Jones. Uh, Black Widow. And, um, you know, Agent Carter in her own way. You know. Uh, so they're kind of getting there, but they haven't really had a good centric movie that's female-led. And, uh... You know, they really dragged their feet on that. They should have already had a Black Widow movie. Um, yeah, they had, the you know, a way to just drive this first, and they're going to miss it. Um, you know, as well as being the first 
they could have already done the first good black superhero movie, uh, but they pushed Black Panther off for a bit longer. Um, it's not the first of all time, because, of course, we got Steel with Shaquille O'Neal, uh, which is awful, but... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I just think there could be more female characters, and I really hope Wonder Woman's good, because that could be just a launching pad uh, to force studios to do that. Um, you know, why hasn't there been a Witchblade movie? What are, what are we waiting for there? Um, of course, that's a whole image top cow thing that's, I don't know if we're going to get into. But anyways, so the trailer looks good. I'm very excited for it. And uh, yeah, uh, those are just some ideas I had. Uh, if you guys like this kind of just discussion type uh, videos, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll do them as different trailer comes out and I, you know, find some things to discuss. And uh, yeah, I'm Sexy Matt the Pharaoh Wizard. Until next time, hold on to your old slots.